Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit Webflow templates in 2024. So today, we're delving into the process of editing a Webflow template or customize it according to your needs. Whether you're building a personal portfolio or launching a new business website, stick around as I guide you through the steps of editing Webflow templates in 2024. And let's of course unleash your creativity and make your website truly yours. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section, type webflow.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen or main screen. Of course, if it's your first time, you'll be taken, sorry, flow to this page instead. So if you have an account, click on login in here to log into your account. If you don't have an account, instead click on get started at three or start Berlin here. Uh, if you're interested about the pricing, here is that. You can post a video with this all by your own. And this is for the e-commerce also. Of course, if you don't know nothing about this website, just scroll down to see it's just some information about it. Before even creating an account on it, you can even log in or even create an account using Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So once you're logged in, you'll find yourself on a dashboard like this. In here, you can start building your websites. So as we said, we would like to edit Overflow template. So let's start by creating a new site so we can choose a template. Or you can go here to this list finance example in templates and libraries. As you can see, for me, I have no templates purchase and no templates set up. So I'll just go here to all sites and click on a new site. So here, I'll have to go and choose a template, as you can see, that I wanna start with. Of course, for the three options, as you can see, I have just those four templates. Of course, if you wanna more, you can upgrade the plan or simply just buy it with the price in here. You have even some free templates in here. You can view them all. Let's say as an example, I don't know, we like this one. So, okay, it says a great plan because I already like, let me just go back in here. I have a lot of already two sites, so I'll just go and click on the settings and delete those sites. You can delete it, of course, or if you don't want to delete it, just click here on archive. As you can see, you'll have to archive it. So confirm by typing this, you'll have to type all of this. So why not? And I guess this, no, this one. Fresh site 93bf72 click on archive sites and as you can see it's not there anymore so now just go and click on a new and as you can see now we can select those from here so here as you can see those you'll have to buy them and let's just go and select this one we'll have to give it a name so tester why not and click on create a site of course, once we select a uh, template here, we'll be able to open it on the Webflow editor or designer, and we'll be able to simply edit it or design it however we want, as you can see, as simple as that. So I'll just go through some simple modifications or some simple edits in here you, that you can follow. Uh, just keep in mind that I am not a great like editor, I'm not a good editor. Just keep that in mind, of course, for you. You can you do your own edits and your own customization depending on your style and whatever you want. So an example in here, as you can see, of course, if you don't know like uh, how to edit or how to use Webflow, it's simple. Just click on whatever you want. As an example, I will just click in here. And as you can see, I'll find here on this right option, all the options that I will be able to edit from style, from settings, and even from inter uh, interactions. Like if you click on it, as an example, in this Git template, if you click on it, as you can see, you'll find it's a button, you'll be able to change where it should take you and a lot of other stuff that you want. So here, as an example, I'll just go to this panel. I'll be able to change it also, as you can see, or you can create a reusable component. You can even see a video on how to do it. So you can edit those components, click on edit components, and you'll be able to edit all those components. You can even, as you can see, move them, just do on Webflow, like there's no limits things. You can do whatever you want. As you can see, even move this outside of the, of the box. So of course, if you made like a mistake like this, and you wanna go back, just simply hit the control Z and it will go back to its place. 
So as we said, to make uh, some, I'll just make some color changes because as I said, I'm not very good at editing and stuff. So an example here, I'll just go and click on here, go to style, scroll down to the bottom and here yeah, on this color, I'll just change the color as an example to yellow, why not? And here's an example, I'll just even remove this, why not? And I'll remove this also, I don't know. Here, keep scrolling down, just change the color of this. Of course, if you didn't like any of those colors, you can go to and of course choose one of the main ones, which is like uh, normal. If you didn't like even this or variables, you can click on plus and choose like give uh, choose a name. So I'll just give it a name test and value here. Make sure to choose like the value of it. And yeah, you'll be like good to go. So just click on cancel because I don't want to change it in here. Of course, as we said, you can even change some interactions as an example. So the page trigger, whatever you want. And this like right option or left option, you'll find the navigator. If you want to click on something like specific, of course, you can make it bigger to see better. As an example, I'll just do this. And yeah, why not? Let's just make this bigger a bit. It seems I cannot make it any bigger. It's fine. So as you can see here on this navigator, I can simply just click on, I don't know what, this text on center. Once I click on it, I'll be taken right into it. And here I'll be able to make the changes right away. Of course, I can give it like some tags so we can access really fast by this navigator. I can edit the size, the position, typography, backgrounds, border, effects. I can edit whatever I want. Of course, if you want to add a new thing, I can simply go and click on this add and I'll be able to add a section, container, quick uh, stack, vflex, uh, basics, typography, CMS, whatever I want. Uh, as you can see, you'll be able to add pages. I'll be able to add something navigator. I'll be able to add some components, a lot of stuff. I'll let you go through that by your own. And of course, once you finish, just go and test or see how it's going to look like for the PC users, for the tablet users, for the phone users, and landscape and portrait. And test it out as an example. Just toggle this preview and test it out as an example. Click on whatever it is and see if everything is working correctly. If it is, congratulations, or there you have it. You just learned how to edit a Webflow template. You can now just go and publish it, of course, if you want to. Or if you don't, just keep it in there and not publish it until you're ready. So you can transform, of course, any templates into unique and personalized websites that perfectly represent your brand or project. Of course, if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorials, drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.